just want to love you better than I did. Taking our memories on love and treating like nothing. Taking our memories. I have an off day today. Today's Thursday. There's an event I should be going to in the downtown area. Aside from that, the salad bowl situation that I made, 10 out of 10. In case you guys are wondering, I used barbecue. I used barbecue and a thousand islands mix these together. 10 out of 10. Thank me later. And then at the top, I added the salad and I used the Caesar dressing. In case you guys want to know, or see. I also, the rice was really good. I really want to do something different. So, the next time I do it, I want to do this spinach wrap. So, I'm definitely going to use this vegan wrap. It's, it's not vegan, it's like a spinach herb wrap. So I'm gonna use it this time and then I'm gonna like make it into like this. Kind of like a. I was gonna eat so bad. But that's that, you guys. Today is just a chill day. I've just been like doing writing paper. I've been writing this one paper for one of my classes on for Friday. I was supposed to have a game, but it got postponed and I was supposed to work that today. But that's all good. That's pretty much it. The outfit that I'm wearing today is just simply my pink blazer that you guys have probably seen on the on my 21st vlog. I'm also wearing some black jeans, some boots. I'm gonna wear boots because I'm like I'm going like it's like a professional building, and I'm just like I don't know how I feel. We'll see how I put the outfit together, but that's pretty much it. There's gonna be some light refreshments. It's open to the public. No registration needed. So I'm in, I'm just gonna enjoy myself. I'm not gonna take you guys along with me, but. Just how you that's how you know but please be streaming flow there's a reason why i rock like this oh yeah like flow has me on a choco the whole group artist like if you guys want me to react to them comment down below because and then immature has me in a choco like the lead like i've been like y'all know like i be listening to music and I've been caught up with them, like Stella, Georgia, and Renee, like 10 out of 10. Like, they don't, and I've been really studying them. They give me Destiny's Child group. It's so refreshing to see what they have. Like, their they're sound, and I like how, like, their song allow them to shine, even in the music videos. It allows them to shine. It's not, like, you can't pick over who's who's what. They're all one. Like, it's all unit. And the fact that they all have tattoos, like, one here, one somewhere here, and then one over here, like... That's crazy, like they're tight. They're like a really cute group. I love them so much that they're not being slept on. Hopefully, they're actually gonna be releasing a new an album maybe. We'll see, I'm, I'm ready. Cause the album's gonna eat. They gave us a like quick teaser at the end of like Walk Like This and I was like, Flo, if you're seeing this, I gave you a little tribute on my Instagram. I just recently ordered one of my outfit for Semi formal for my college so when the time comes i'll give you guys more outfits on that and what the details will do i'll give you guys like more of like an unboxing video i feel like right now as we on friday actually tomorrow tyla is also dropping her song so stay tuned for that one ah wait hold on ooh, ooh. don't come for me y'all don't come for me in the comments make me sweat no, you can't, yeah. To the day, yeah. And also, hear me out. You know the song art that she ta she started, like, teasing? Why does it sound like a movie scene? Like, a scene from a movie. Like, I feel like if they want to cast me in a movie, cast me. Because I'll execute the role. Write that down, write that down. PR team. The fact that she won a Grammy, ah, her team is really doing a good job with the marketing team. Marketing is on point. No bars. No bars at all. Okay, so I just saw something on my
Hello, hello, hello. We were just talking about that. Hello, I'm gagged, I'm gagged, I'm gagged. The gag is real. Didn't I just tell y'all it would have been so perfect in a movie scene? Like what if they did like an instrumental version on Bridgerton? Like that would eat so bad. That would eat so, no bars. That would eat so bad. That would eat so freaking bad. I don't know. See, this is why I'm telling you. And the little snippet that we're getting and it's dropping on midnight. Hello? I think I'm gonna have to do a reaction to this because... Ah! Everybody is giving us treatment. What are your thoughts on the Ariana Grande album? Please let us know. Boy is Mine, Supernatural. Uh, There's another one. What's another one? What's the other one? Oh, you can... Something about hate. And Ariana put her foot and effort to it and she literally said that this time around with this album she can actually enjoy this album and the music video ate so bad like she's never missing so stay tuned to ariana grande too my girl ag tell me tell me baby why can't you leave me oh no lighting y'all So this is the look that I'm going for. Just something cute and whatnot. But what I was thinking is I should wear like this type of hoodie, but it's like zipping up and down. And I put it over that because I know it's kind of cold outside. So I think I'll do that just to be, and then like I said, I'm gonna wear pair it with some thrifted black pants. And then I'm probably gonna probably wear something to go with it, some like shoes. I don't know what shoes exactly. I was going to wear, like, the shoes that I wore for my birthday. But I figured I'd rather wear those shoes for the semi-formal. Because the theme for the semi-formal is blue and white. So I figured you can never go wrong with silver. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to go with that. Meanwhile, that's the day for today. Tomorrow I have an assignment. That assignment is due on the 3rd. No. It's due tomorrow at 3 p.m. That's what I meant to say. What's coming up this week for y'all, or like the upcoming weeks, I really want to tell you guys. There's a video. It's going to be a lot of videos, so stay tuned. Like, that are coming in. I want to talk about some things, like I said, like some things that I really want to touch base on. But like I said, as soon as the months keep going, you guys will understand what I'm trying to say. Like, this thing that I'm trying to hold on to. And besides that, keep keep watching me. I'm watching you. You can watch me. Comment, subscribe, love. If you made it this far, I love y'all. Make sure you have some positivity in your life. But honestly, y'all, life be life -ing. And honestly, I just... There are moments where I don't, like, I don't feel the greatest. And it's really good to have, like, support teams and people who are rooting for you. Especially somebody who's African-American. But not just African-American. Also black, Kenyan. And a lot of people... It's really good to have like a support system and people who are your safe, in your safe corners that you can really express how you feel. And it's really humbling and it's really nice. No matter how difficult it may be or how it may seem like you might feel like you're complaining. But when I say put your prayers to God, I literally was looking at some scriptures in Jeremiah and Isaiah and it just really called out. And I really was like, God... I'm not trying to be lukewarm, but I'm trying to do the best foot forward and the mess in your eyes. And despite the circumstances that I'm going through, um, it's it's really it really feels as if like I need a hug, but at the same time, it's like physically, it's like God, God, my shriek, my pain. But you're humbling me in this moment in time. You know what I mean. Also, I want to address something. I feel like, and it, I think it might be a, a cultural thing or whatnot, but can we refrain from talking about people's weight? Simple as that. I think that's just something that needs to be addressed. And I feel like if you're comfortable in your weight, you're comfortable within your weight. Let nobody talk about your weight unless it's a medical rising issue that needs to be addressed, whether it's from a doctor or somebody that... Is like, okay, you need to, you know what I mean? Because I feel like in certain cultures, they talk about it. And I just feel like if it's not benefiting you, do not worry about me and my weight. If you, and 
I say this to say, like, there's a scripture in the Bible where it says, God says, come as you are. Okay? I'm coming as who I am. And if you don't, if you want to make comments and whatnot, keep the comments to yourself. Let's not address this weight thing. Especially, like, just because I'm this size doesn't mean that you need to start talking about me. Uh, uh, I don't want to hear it. You do you. I focus on me. I'm not going to worry about your weight and my weight. Because my weight and your weight and my diet is completely different. You know what I mean? Like, if I was asking about it, then maybe I'd be like, okay, what's something I could do? You know what I mean? But apparently, I'm supposed to have big arms. I'm supposed to have big... Mm. Let's let's limit that. Let's limit that in households, family members, or family friends. Let's limit that because I just feel like that is annoying. We shouldn't be talking about other people's weight. And so what? My weight is this. So what? I'm skinny. Or so what? I'm whatever. And it's a blessing, okay? Because a lot of people, majority of the people that I've had, they're always like, "You need to be a model." Like I could see you modeling, okay? So. I said what I said in Nene's voice. You had the right idea, but the wrong. Mm, you know what I was trying to say. Yeah, this. I feel like this really needs to be sensitive. Like, I understand it might be a curiosity, whatever it might be, or somebody's coming through, but I just find that, like, just not, let's not talk about people's weight. Like, if it's not benefiting you, it's not benefiting me or anything like that, why do you talk about it? Because I recently had somebody who did that, and it just, and they're laughing it off, and it's just like, now, if I was in person, I would not be laughing. Why are you laughing? This doesn't make me feel okay. I really, to be honest, looking back, I really should have just been like, let's just drop this. Simple as that. Simple as that. You know what I mean? And it's just like, some people just need to learn when to stop and when to not. Or what, do what's right and do what's, you know, do what's right and know your limits or control yourself or not even control, but just be more aware of like how somebody might take it. If they're even repeatedly saying like, hey, let's just not talk about this or, you know, simple as done, let's not talk about it. You know what I mean? Simple. It's that simple because I feel like some people can take it too far. And when you try to address it right there on the spot and they don't and they're not listening, it's like, Hmm, I struggle because it's like, okay, fine, then let me just walk away because I will not be in spaces where people are talking about my weight being a problem when they're not even a doctor themselves or they're not like a medical, they're not in the medical field. Because if it's in the medical field, I can completely understand and I get it. But some people just need to learn their limits, if that makes sense, right? Learn your limit. There's a time and place for everything. That's what the Bible, it even says that in the Bible. There's a time and place for everything. And this is not the time and place for all this. Bryson trailer. Okay? I hope that, I hope that, I hope that clicks in your ear. Besides the point. Like, Ariana Grande, you ate that. I wish I hated you. I don't know, just the beginning, just be doing it for me. I'd be like, I'm taking notes because that's how I want to start my songs. Like, I'm in that type. It, I would have. I'd be my R&B vibe, but I would start my song, I Wish I Hated You by Ayana Grande. Just the beginning of it. And then there's a song called Define Me by Janae Aiko. Ooh, mash those two together and give it like a little summer boppy, I don't know, vibe. It would eat so bad. But let me not give you guys my ideas, but if you want to take them, give credit to
me connecting or us connecting to each other. This is going to get pretty vulnerable, but what are dads for? I've always wondered what we would talk about. Would you give me a nickname? Would we talk mostly English, Spanish, or Spanglish? Are you a creative? Do you sing? Do you write? Do you paint? And do I get my love of words from you? I've asked God these questions, sometimes, sometimes scared to know the answers. You need to hear me. I deserve to be heard. I